Uh, it makes sense in lots of in lots of ways. I mean, one 2030 was a little too close to the 28 Olympics in in Los Angeles, and so that makes it harder to get sponsorship. They don't like to have two back to back that close in, in near the same place. Uh, 2034 is perfect for us uh, because uh, that separation, but also it gives us that opportunity to prepare in ways that again no other no other country has had that much time uh, and, and, and that much space to uh, to really dream uh, and, and think big about what the experience can be like for the fans, for the citizens of Utah, for the athletes and their families. And so we have some pretty big ideas, and uh, I'm sure there will be better ideas as we move forward. Uh, what did it mean, I guess, uh, obviously Newton has said so much about 2002, what did it mean to hear from the IOC that they enjoyed Well, you, you know, we, we've been dreaming about this day for a long time, um, but we always knew that 2002 was going to be the key to all of this, that uh, the, the experience, the fact that we pulled off a very successful Olympics when we kind of didn't know what we were doing, right? I mean, that, uh, Fraser talks about that all the time, that your first Olympics, you're just trying to make sure that games actually happen, that, that people show up, that, you know, that, that nothing falls apart. And, and so we were just kind of hanging on by, by, by the skin of our teeth, getting that one done. This was, we know we can do this now. There's no question. And, and that's what the IOC confirmed in every conversation we had. They, they kept talking about, many of them were there in the 2002 Olympics. They talked about how it, it changed the game. That was, at the time, the most successful winter games in the history of Olympic sport. I think we may forget that a little bit. The thousands of volunteers, again, we didn't go into debt. In fact, we made money. We set that money aside to use it to keep these venues going. And so all of that added up, and now we get to make the next best games ever. Yeah, I, I know it's a, it's a little confusing. It's not like the old days where there's just an announcement where everybody applies and then they announce one city. Um, being a preferred host means that we've moved one step further. Now we're basically working on contracts, right? They're going to come, get the final details done. We'll, we'll meet with them again in July in Paris at the Olympics and uh, sign those contracts. And that's when it's official, official. But they, they had an opportunity to select multiple cities to go into this targeted dialogue. They chose not to do that. Um, so that's the symbolic piece. It's so important. That's why we're celebrating because we got the Olympics. Um, they only invited us into the 2034 Olympics, which means it's a it's a done deal. Unless we, you know, really screw something up, and we're not going to do that. We're further along than any other city right now. Um, we have all of our agreements in place, all of our guarantees in place, everything we need. I mean, I mean technically, we could put on the games next year if we had to. We're, we're not going to, but uh, we, we could do that, and that was very impressive to the uh, to the IOC. Uh, look, I'm I'm ecstatic. There's been a lot of long nights, uh, a lot of worry. You know, is this really going to happen? You 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 want to you want to dream, but you're you don't dare let yourself kind of uh, get that excited yet. Today was the first day we all exhaled, um, knowing that it's it's now really going to happen, and uh, it, it's a huge deal. Again, there are you know there are lots of countries and cities that would give anything to have an event like this, where the eyes of the world are here. Uh, again, hundreds of thousands of people coming to our state. It's great for the economy. Uh, it's great for our citizens and. And it's, again, it's great for humanity. We need to be reminded of some good things. There's so much negativity out there. This is a good thing, you guys. This is the best thing. And Utah should be very, very, very proud today.